Welcome. So how do we construct an isosceles triangle? Well, we're going to start by creating our base. So let me just draw a random line segment and let me label this line segment A and B. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get my compass. I'm going to put my metal leg in one of those points and I'm going to open it more than my base. So not at B, but I'm just going to open it a little bit farther up. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a mark. Without changing the length of my compass, I'm going to move my metal leg and I'm going to move it to the other point, which in this case is B. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create another mark using the same measurement and notice that I'm intersecting at a point. This point, let me call it C. Now, if I connect those three points, if I connect A to C and if I connect B to C, what I have done is we have created an isosceles triangle. AC is going to be congruent to BC because AC, notice that it's using the length of this arc, and BC, notice that it's using the length of this arc. Those two arcs were made using the same length, therefore, those two line segments, AC, is going to be congruent to be C. Hello, if you would like to continue to learn about mathematics, you can check out the videos on the left. 